Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to cook something delicious which is hot and spicy. It's Greek and it's called little sausages. And here it is. I'm going to start the dish by preparing the tomato sauce with the peppers and here I have all the ingredients I'm going to need. Here I've got the pan and first of all I'm going to fry the onions. I'm going to add olive oil to the pan. The butter. Now the butter is melted and I'm going to add the onions to the pan. Once the onions are soft and translucent, I'm going to add the peppers. I'm going to add the garlic. And then goes the peppers. And I'm going to fry them until they are tender. I'm going to put some oregano in the pan and don't forget to crush it. It's going to be lovely actually, the smell is fantastic. I'm going to add some salt. Pepper. And give it a good mix. I'm adding the tomatoes to the pan. The wine. And the stock. I'm going to mix it all together. I'm going to bring it to a simmer and lower the heat and cover the pan and cook it until the peppers are tender and the sauce thickens. It takes about 20 minutes. While I'm waiting for the sauce to be cooked, I'm going to get on with the rest of the cooking and I'm going to fry the potatoes. The vegetable oil is already hot and I'm going to fry the potatoes. I'm just finishing the last half of the potatoes. The sauce is ready, the peppers are tender and the sauce has thickened. And I'm going to turn it off. The next thing I'm going to do is to prepare the sausages and I've got all the ingredients here that I'm going to use. I'm going to add the potato to the meat. I'm 
the egg the onion the garlic and the spices the parsley and some of the breadcrumb and I'm going to mix it together the best thing to do is to actually use your hands and blend it all together and as you have noticed I had everything prepared in advance I had my potato uh, grated the onion coarsely grated I had the spices ready I had my egg and of course I had one slice of bread in, I've used the blender to, to make my breadcrumbs just mix it well and don't forget to season it with salt and pepper the ingredients are all mixed together and it's ready to roll to prepare the sausages just take a piece of of the mixture into your hands and just roll it between your palms just like that and if you have noticed I have already put some flour on the plates because I don't want the sausages to stick on the plate I'm just finishing off the last uh, uh, couple of sausages and once they're done I'm going to fry them in the same uh, frying pan that I've used for the potatoes I have been using um, the meat that I've used actually it's beef but you can use any anything you like you can use lamb or pork if you wish that's it it's all done before you start frying the sausages make sure the oil is really very hot and to find out if the oil, the oil is really hot just drop a bit of the mixture into the pan and if it's sizzling like that, it means it's hot. So I'm just going to start by putting the sausages in there. When the sausages are brown, take them out and cook the rest. The sausages are ready and I'm going to remove them from the pan. All the ingredients are cooked and ready and I'm going to assemble them together. And here I have my Pyrex and I'm going to start with the potatoes
And now I'm going to add the sausages. And the last thing I'm going to add to the sausages and the potatoes is the tomato sauce with the peppers. This is ready and I'm going to put it in the oven which has been preheated 200 degrees Celsius and I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Twenty minutes up and I'm going to take it out of the oven. And the only way to find out if they are really cooked is to check the sauce and it has been really thickened. The sausages are nice and crispy on the top and the peppers have been wilted. And it's all ready. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm going to have a try. Okay, let's see. And some of the potato. And I can tell you now, this is absolutely delicious. And like I said, it's hot and spicy and it's Greek and it tastes delicious. Anyway, I hope you can join me again for my next video. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers!